Hello and welcome to the Horns and Whistles Workshop YouTube channel. Uh, this video is just a demonstration of my uh, Hornby and Lima Ringfield motor upgrade kits which consist of a CD motor and 3D printed adapter and all the necessary fitting instructions. This particular demonstration concerns the use of them in diesel locomotives fitted with Hornby TTS sound decoders. I've had a few questions about whether or not they work uh, with TTS decoders. Sadly they don't work with steam TTS decoders because the steam decoders from the Hornby TTS range don't enable you to adjust the chuff rate of the sound. So unfortunately it means you get a locomotive that's running much faster than it sounds like it should be um, to the point you'll have a, a, a locomotive running at mainline speeds, but it will sound like it's shunting or chuffing, or <coughs> sorry, shunting around some sidings. It just doesn't work. And that's because you can't adjust the chuff rate. Uh, on those sound decoders. However, with diesels, uh, they do work because you can adjust the speed step uh, rate or the speed steps on the uh, the motor sounds on the TTS decoder, decoders for diesels. Uh, so I'm just going to give you a demonstration. This is a Hornby Class 47. Uh, the motors uh, are exactly the same for Hornby or Lima. It's just the fitting adapter that's different. So this will apply to a Lima model as well. So this Hornby Class 47 is fitted with my six volt slim motor because it is a Coco model. So it has three axles on the on each bogey, meaning you need a slim motor to fit between the wheels of the center axle. Um, so yeah, it fitted with the uh, relevant Hornby TTS decoder. And I'll just give you a demonstration run of how it runs. It does run uh, well, works quite smoothly. Um, and I'll put the CV settings that I set the decoder up with in the comments below, as well as a link to the product, uh, i.e. The, the motor upgrade kits, which are available on eBay. Now, I will warn you in advance, I'm having a bit of trouble with that bit of track over there near where my power is, is being fed. There's um, something wrong with it. I think it's slightly out of level and it is causing some problems with stalling. Hopefully it won't happen, but we'll, we'll see. So as you can see, um, with the diesel sound decoders, they run quite well. The speed of the locomotive matches the speed that, um, or the, the speed of the sound. You don't have to turn the dial up particularly high. Um, I probably only had my dial turned up about that much, maybe a bit more. Um, but as long as you set the speed steps appropriately, um, you can just manually control the speed with your controller, but the speed steps of the sound will match the speed that your loco is running if you set the CVs up properly. And as I say, how to do that will be in the comments of this video. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it's been useful.